Today we have Sarah from Safer. Sarah, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So Sarah, can you tell us a little bit about what you do at Safer and about Safer itself? Sure, of course. I'm really excited to be on this team. I, I come to the industry with about 20 some odd years of experience in both oh, wow. access control and video. And I've always been very attracted to companies that are sort of helping change the landscape of technology, move towards interoperability. And um, I'm very attracted to some the newer technologies. Uh -huh. And so I get a little bit of both with Safer. Our parent company is Real Networks. We've been around for 28 years. Uh, predominantly in the software space, an analytics company, if you will. You might recognize uh, yes. companies by yep. the name of Real Time, Real yep. Player. Mm -hmm. So Real, Real Networks brought live streaming audio and video to the internet, first and foremost. At the time, they were also very early on involved in facial analytics um, for, you know, when you could tag someone in a photo or right. stop a video in a, in a movie and right. see, you know, who who that actor was, for example. Mm -hmm. So we've been in the facial analytics space for a long time and having to provide those analytics on a very lightweight platform, which is sort of the impetus to getting um, real networks into the surveillance space. Okay. So Safer was stood up in the early 2010s, I believe, moving into the surveillance space where the core product was an enterprise level software platform that could sit over top of any VMS or actually the software could be embedded into hardware cameras as well to run analytics, facial analytics on, on that video. Mm -hmm. And it was only about a year and a half ago that we launched a hardware component to the Safer portfolio called SaferScan. Oh, okay. And the idea is that we could capitalize on these amazing analytics that we've got homegrown in-house, this computer learning that we've been, um, been so successful with, and bring it to the edge so that we could now move into the access control space. Mm -hmm. And that's where we became partners with Imron and Safer mm -hmm. because SaferScan is sort of the hot product right now. With SaferScan, you can utilize um, facial recognition, face for access, which is a much more secure um, and much better user experience for uh, right. than, than traditional physical authentication methods. Mm -hmm. um, and we can take SaferScan and integrate it to your access control system, like we do with Imron, which allows us to have a record, you know, a registered person be recognized at the door by their face, right. their face only, right. or in your case, we can um, enable dual and even multi-factor authentication. So supporting the physical credentials that are already in the system, maybe using a mobile credential plus face, or even using a sort of a, a pin pad, if you will. So that's that's where we've come um, from early days in analytics to now bringing facial recognition to the edge for access control. Oh, that's fantastic because we're really excited about our integration mm -hmm. with Safer. Um, in fact, Safer is actually unique in the industry because um, with facial recognition, authentication, um, there is this issue of spoofing sure. that has occurred. And I know the technology has improved, but what makes Safer so unique with that? Well, having had the opportunity but to sort of build a dream team of engineers and, and operations people and salespeople to create this device, mm -hmm. um, we've got experts from the access control space, we were able to de design and engineer this product from the ground up. So there's a few things that historically have been concerns with facial recognition readers, mm -hmm. um, spoofing one of them, right. where there's a will, there's a way. So yes. any sort of technology can be, has been breached historically. Right. With um, facial recognition, it's a matter of people trying to put up, uh, use others other people's faces. So whether it's putting a picture of somebody else up to that camera right. or even showing a, a live video on a phone, mm -hmm. um, what Safer has done has included a couple of what we call liveness technologies. They're incorporated into the physical device itself and it enables us to produce anti-spoofing measures. So when you walk up to a Safer scan, the scan is doing two things. It's, it's matching your face to an image record that you have in, that's being stored in the device mm -hmm. or, or in, in the access control system. Um, but it's also running a liveness detection check on you. So it, utilizing RGB liveness and um, structured light, it allows us to actually determine if the face in front of the camera is in fact a real person. 
So okay. anti-spoofing can right. be mitigated completely. Mm -hmm. And you'll even see in your access control system a notification. It might even, if I put up a picture of you, it might do yeah. a 100% match mm -hmm. that it is indeed you, but it would show a little orange heart and indicate right. that, but it's not a live person. Exactly. So your, your access would be denied. Right. right. So spoofing's a big one, of mm -hmm. course. Um, lighting, historically, with, well, any camera. Wherever there's a camera, there's lighting, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. So there have been problems, and you even see when you step up to a camera with whether there's backlight compensation issues or bright light, bright sunlight mm -hmm. directly in your face if you're looking at a, an entrance, you know, an entrance application, gate entry, something like that, or, of course, low light and no light. In the safer scan, we've developed lighting technologies that not only help us um, counter any negative lighting effects, like the ones I mentioned, but the way that we have full control over the sensors on our camera enable us to prioritize the face for matching. Okay. So we don't care what happens in the background. Right. We can blow out the background. What we're doing is prioritizing the face mm -hmm. so that you get a perfect image of the face every time with the appropriate lighting so that it can be easily matched, you know, with the database very quickly. Mm -hmm. So lighting, we do very, very well because we are one of maybe the only product on the market that is IP65 rated for outdoors. Oh, wow. We okay. fit in very yeah. well in gate entry applications and outdoor applications as well as mm -hmm. indoor. Mm -hmm. So that's a big, that's a big differentiator, I think, with our product. Uh -huh. um, the third historical concern with biometrics, especially facial recognition, yes. is uh -huh. bias. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Algorithms that are inherently biased, meaning when the face is presented to the camera, there's difficulty distinguishing between skin colors, gender, sentiment, um, age, Absolutely. things like that. Right. So because we have this very strong background in analytics, mm -hmm. and we come from this space where we've been running lightweight yeah, you know, our algorithms on lightweight processors, um, we do really well in this space. We consistently test sort of the highest, if you're looking at a graph, like up and to the right, on any of the NIST tests for facial recognition on faces in the wild, they're mm -hmm. called. So mm -hmm. instead of outsourcing our data sets to a third party, where we would be learning faces that are built on stock images, very well-lit, posed, you know, photographs of people, right. instead... We've been training on homegrown data sets that are purpose-built to minimize bias. So faces in the wild, meaning faces that are moving, partially occluded, maybe not looking at the camera, um, makeup, uh, what right, it, masks, right, glasses, right. hats, whatever the case may be. Uh -huh. So we, we score very, very well in our NIST testing um, for very low bias. So that's something that has really differentiated us in the market against everybody else in this facial recognition space because mm -hmm. we were the leaders in, in facial recognition analytics. To begin we, with, that's right, to begin right, with. Exactly. So being able to check those three historical concerns, lighting, uh, bias, and anti-spoofing off the list, that leaves us with two more things. Two more things, two more barriers to entry to have an, an item like Safer Scan be at every opening. One is price and the other is enrollment. Mm -hmm. These devices historically come into the market at quite a high price point, and we are really excited and proud to, uh, be, because of reasons like being able to host our algorithms on very lightweight processors, small mm -hmm. processors equals lightweight servers, less expensive servers, we've been able to come in at a very competitive price point, which is exciting for us. Absolutely. Because it's not a barrier to entry. Right. And the last thing is enrollment. And so enrollment typically Historically, you have these wonderful biometric devices, whether it's hands or eyes or face or you know whatever, mm -hmm. sitting at the edge. But enrolling your users traditionally has just been painful. You have right. to enroll every single person at a single device. It might take a certain amount of seconds or minutes. Mm -hmm. And then quite often you're managing two separate databases because there's no integration between the access control system and the edge device. And so what we're doing is ensuring that not only can we make enrollment incredibly easy, mm -hmm. so multiple options for enrollment. Yes, you can enroll your face directly at the device. Yes, you can enroll on a self-serve kiosk like we have outside here, which is really cool. People are coming in and enrolling themselves. And right. the next right. thing you know, you're walking through the door. Exactly. Um, and then the third thing is being able to pre-enroll 
at scale, so large numbers of users, within the Imran database. So really only using the Imran database as your source of truth, not having to manage a second database, right? and being able to take all of the information that you've populated in the Imran cardholder record, and, um, and then sort of that shoots out to the edge where those, um, those cardholder records are stored at the edge for matching. Right. And you know, with privacy concerns, we, we have the ability to store not an image, but a biometric signature at the mm -hmm. edge. So there's no concern over images leaving or leaving the server. Yeah. But the integration provides us an enrollment experience that is second to none. And that I think has really brought the opportunity for facial recognition edge readers to come into the everyday market. It's not just replacing one-offs or special, you know, unique, secure areas. We're really able, at this price point, with this accessibility, this great user experience, we're enabling um, our customers to use the safer scan at every opening. Oh, that's yeah, yeah that's that's crucial because you can never forget your face. Right? Well, you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you don't, don't forget, forget at home. I've left yeah, my phone yeah. at home a yeah, few you left times. Your phone. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you have cards, fobs, and and phones, but yeah, you never forget your face. Exactly. So, um, what's What's um, the future looking like for Safer? Are there uh, additional features coming, new technology, or what? all the time? Uh -huh. We understand how quickly technology moves. Yes. So our, our engineering group is uh, never tired. I should say they're always creating something new or developing something new. Multiple features have come out even in the last quarter, um, being able to enable the Safer Scan for bi-directional audio communication for intercom. Okay, right. That opens up a whole new arena for, you know, um, building entrances, even residential tower entrances, mm -hmm. having that audio communication. We'll be utilizing both SIP and WebRTC for that. Okay. Um, the other w thing that we're coming out with, we did launch, we did give a sneak peek at ISC West, so I can talk about it a little bit. Um, our next generation of the Safer Scan mm -hmm. is actually a mullion sized version. That's exciting. Yeah, that's really exciting. So that um, will have um, it's right. The first uh, the first version of it is designed for indoor only. Okay. Um, and we're pushing it for to get you know outdoor housing as uh -huh. well, of course. But initially, it will come out as an indoor rated unit. It's a mullion size, so that's half the size of a single gang reader, or yeah, yeah, it's half the size of a single gang reader. It will have the camera. There won't necessarily be a display. There is a small touch screen, but too small for a little keypad. So right. really those that device will be perfect for um, face and mobile. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be just awesome. And of course the price point will come down even more on that. So our goal in the, our future roadmap includes developing the features on SaferScan, continuing to develop our analytics package because, mm -hmm. you know, it, on top of being able to open your door, recognize your face, support your physical card, right. support a mobile credential, have bi-directional intercom, have a video stream that can tie into your VMS as well and run surveillance, right. we also include um, an advanced analytics package with this device where we can offer tailgating analytics, person of interest watch. So if you think of TSA watch lists or uh -huh. um, VIP entrance, you know, looking for people of interest, BOLO, mm -hmm. be on the lookout for analytics package, as well as um, uh, people counting in occupancy. So all of our background is included in this edge device now that we're using to yeah, open the door. Amazing, so we're gonna continue right? to develop our hardware mm -hmm. um, and, and platforms in which we can, where we can showcase our software. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Sarah, thank you so much oh, for thanks. being here today. I get excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> As you should. It's yeah. a great product. Thank, thank you, you so much. And we're excited to be a partner with Imran. So I think the um, the integration that we have is unique and very powerful. And I think it will be really exciting for your customers. So oh, thank absolutely. you for being a partner. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thanks.